so I just got a new computer so you can actually play this at full speed <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to play it it's somewhere between challenging and normal. I don't know why they would have... I just want to play it just as the game normally would be. I'm going to turn Death Door on. Let me throw a retrain on to just in case I get some do something stupid. It's been a while. We're gonna go only active companions get experience because I don't care about the companion quests. We are in last Aslanti mode, of course. <clears throat> I'm gonna do only skill users receive the check experience. And we'll see how quickly how quickly Pyle overtakes the whole group. So we're gonna do not we. I'm gonna do a replay at full speed as opposed to the last atrocity. That was rocking things at about five to ten frames per second. <clears throat> I was thinking, I was wondering if I could um, finish a thought, maybe. If I could go episode for episode, we'll see how long it took me. In the last Aslanti, last, last, last Aslanti playthrough on the shit computer, as opposed to this new computer, which everything seems to be working pretty well on. Um, see how long it would take me to play through the same basic things. <clears throat> we'll see how much extra time wasted to get through that first playthrough. And as shitty as that first playthrough was, still pretty proud of it to have finished the game on pretty much normal normal power last is lanty mode um, I only messed around with the power the one time at the end of the um, the balloon. This time I go around, if I do get that far, I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to leave everything at this power. I'm not going to not going to de de degrade anything. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to buy the same mercenaries. We're going to have the same group. Do the same stuff. I need to concentrate. Where is uh Calm down. Not dead yet. No. Nope. I have no need for this. Alright, we'll do that. Kingdom's going to be named Iobadiria because the uh, the unhurried lands are going to be at full speed. Let us press on. All right, so I'm going to do the play th the introduction. I'll actually do all the questions and stuff like that instead of skipping past everything, and then um, 
<clears throat> we'll turn the introduction off and we'll play the first chapter and we'll just see how that looks just curious to see how this works on my uh, on the new the new gear It'd be kind of neat if I could go side by each, the old playthrough and the new playthrough, Our do the same things. Our story started at the mansion of an Aldori sword lord. Drawn by the promise of a most dangerous task and a commensurately huge reward, heroes of all stripes gathered here. I tried playing Wrath of the Righteous for a few hours. My god, am I shit at that. This is taking forever! didn't even say what this was for, just that the Aldori were looking for heroes. Who are the Aldori anyway, rich folk? Keep it down, sir. If you can't be patient, no one's keeping you here. Just go back to your mountains or whatever hole you crawled out of. The Aldori sword lords run the premier school for the dueling arts. They're also the richest and most influential group in this part of Brevoy. Take that tone with them, and they'll teach you some manners pretty quickly. To that. All right, you purple toad, just shut your trap. And if you can't, I'll help you. Sir, this is no place to be drunk. Hush! Quiet! They're coming. Did you, did you just hush me? <clears throat> of course, this playthrough won't be half as fun without me fighting with the mouse. Complaining. Greetings, everyone. I am Sword Lord Jamandi Aldori, and this is Lord Mayor Yosef Selimius of Restolf. Welcome to my mansion. Did she just call herself a Sword Lord? I want to listen to that again. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for responding to our call. You may be few, but that's unavoidable. We need only the best of the best for this task. And I see true heroes before me, strong and fearless. Exactly what Restov needs. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Now, to the point. South of here, just beyond Brevoy's border, lies a region known as the Stolen Lands. This is disputed territory, and while it's long been claimed by nearby states, it's never been truly taken. I won't bore you with the legal technicalities. Suffice to say that anyone with enough courage and power to seize the Stolen Lands and name themselves Baron or Baroness, claiming dominion, well, none of the neighboring states would be able to challenge it. Of course, Restov would be first to recognize the legitimacy of this new state, as well as the noble title of its founder. I think this is the perfect time for Lady Jamandi Aldori to bore us with the legal technicalities. I want to know what I'm in for here before I... Unfortunately, one serious obstacle stands between you and this title. A gang of bandits hold sway in the Stolen Lands. Their chief, who they call the Stag Lord, considers himself the rightful owner of these lands, and no one has yet been able to challenge his power. Bring me his head, and you'll be able to return to the Stolen Lands as their legal ruler. Any questions? Did the Stag Lord get that name from going to wedding solo? I will, of course. I'm the leader of this team, after all. Don't worry, though. I'll make it worth your while to help me. Sounded kind of creepy there. We haven't yet begun, and you already speak of divvying rewards. What makes you think we'll even succeed? There's little point arguing over who gains the title when we'll most likely lose our lives there. Harem, I never want to talk to you again. Ahem, <clears throat> if I may please answer the question. We believe you're all equally deserving of a noble title. Over the course of your expedition, it will be up to you as a team to decide which of you is best suited to rule. Maybe he makes stag movies. That's a good point. As I see it, this stag lord already holds power over the region with confidence. Many noble bloodlines were started by bandits who just got lucky, weren't they? I think she's calling you a bandit, Jumandi. Perhaps because we do have standards to maintain. This room has seen many celebrations of adventurers. 
and even those who just got lucky. But giving a noble title to a bandit lord? <laughs> that's one thing that's never happened here. And it won't, while I still breathe. Don't ask stupid questions. <laughs> why should you even care? What they have to gain and why, that's for Lady Aldori and I to discuss. It's none of your concern. Your only concern is to swing your sword around, or whatever it is you do. I crush gnomes. That's what I do, Totuchia. Of course we stand to benefit from this enterprise. But if you're concerned that we intend to rule your country from afar, using you as a front, well, please know that these concerns are unfounded. Let's just say that we have a strong interest in the region's stability. We have need of a ruling power we can negotiate with, not bandit gangs and monster hordes. What is that smell in the air? I think Tartucci have farted. The smell of unspoken words and political intrigue? No, he definitely did fart. And what reward would you seek beyond a noble title? He's got a monocle. Lands? A monocle. A man after my own heart. We'll absorb the costs of preparing and equipping your expeditions. Once you return victorious, Restoff will also allocate you a significant sum to provide financial support for you to establish your country. Essentially, we'll help you build your capital. I hope such a reward is satisfactory. I tried an Eldori sword lord in um, the Wrath of the Righteous. Fucking words, terrible. Words, words, words. Significant, financial. I can't fill my belly with pretty words. Just keep it down, sir. The meeting's almost over. Of course, over. there will also be an official banquet held in your honor. All of Rostov's high society will gather to celebrate your feat. You can hold off on the banquet. Just send cash. Now you're talking. This drunk guy behind me is Excellent. really racking my nerves. You venture forth tomorrow. For now, you can take some time to get to know one another better. Or you can head straight to your guest rooms to get some rest. You'll find we've already prepared supplies for you there. And thank you again for agreeing to take part in this expedition. I wish you luck. Thank you again. With all my heart for replying to this call, the flare in your eyes reveals your courage, the unshakable will that distinguishes true heroes. I look at you, O oh champions of Restoff, and doubt not for a second that you'll be victorious. So venture forth toward your feet. Go and return in triumph. Yosef Salemius almost sounds like Stan Lee. All right, Lindsay. Tell me about your book. Hi, my name's Lindsay. I'm a bard, though this is my first real adventure. So, shall we go teach this stag lord a lesson? Like a math lesson? I'm already pronouncing myself king, so here we go. Likewise. Actually, I also wanted to ask you something. Uh, is it about Tartuccio and um, that foul loader? How do you feel about this Tartuccio exactly. fellow? Exactly. I think he's pretty obnoxious, personally. He appointed himself head of the team, and he's just after the Baron's crown, or whatever it is Baron's wear. It doesn't matter. I don't like him. I think you should be team leader. When I first saw you, I couldn't help but think, now here's a real hero. Someone who'll be praised in poems and songs. This... This is the person I'll write my book about. Cool. Damn, I should have led with that. Please, just let me explain. No, I get it. You're going to write a book about me, so that's, that's cool. You know what the trouble with most heroes' biographies is? They're Guys. always written years later, based on the tales of, best case, people who saw things from the outside. Worst case, someone heard about it from their brother, who heard it from their friend, who heard it from their cousin, and so on, adding a new batch of lies each time. Lies. Every time I read about a heroic journey, I think to myself, why didn't they just bring a bard with them to write it all down properly? Ah, uh, because the bard never shuts up. And then I thought, I could be that bard. I just needed to find a suitable hero and volunteer to follow along on their glorious adventure. A great plan, huh? And here we are, with a heroic journey lying before us. Who's going to be the hero? Some dwarf who keeps muttering about how we'll all die? 
Or maybe that horrific scythe lady. Or gods forbid, Tartuccio. No way. So I get it uh, by default then. So I'm the least loserish of all the people here. All right. Oh yeah, she's fantastic. You can tell she could tear a bear's head off with her bare hands, but she kind of scares me just a little. Me too. But I mean, her sword's twice as big as I am. She could cut me down without even noticing. Just think on it a bit, all right? I'm sure you'll. All right. I'm going to my room to write about tonight. See you in the morning. Bonsoir. Let's talk to. I don't think I've ever talked to uh, anybody. Play about, huh? Let's get into it with the mirror right here. No. Jethal. Did she say anything? Casting Garas right there? I didn't know that you get to talk to him. Where's Yosef Salimius? I want to get a good look at that monocle. Yeah, when I was playing the Wrath of the Righteous, I can't get used to the camera angle while we're switching either. <clears throat> it turned around. Man, was I shit at that game. Let's get rid of this tutorial. We'll talk to him. I wonder if you can pick up anything. I don't think you can. See if I could drag it out to be like ten minutes, like the first the first intro was. All right. Well, I'll get to the door and then I'll cut it off here, and then I'll pick up episode one of the tutorial mansion in just a moment. <laughs> 